So this video is going to be all about Chuck Chuck's uh, language and how he's using um, what means to communicate with us and what sort of level of skill does he have in this kind of area. Well, I will show you the first video and this video shows how he does with kind of some of the requests. And in this video you'll see he's got an iPad and we set it up so that the song will finish. He likes the iPad very much and he likes this song and he really wants it to continue for the uh, therapist to play more videos. But as you'll observe in the video, he gets a bit frustrated. He doesn't really look at the therapist for help or to request something. He doesn't point or take his hand, he just kind of starts to cry. And we did observe this over the first couple of days that sometimes when there's things he wants to get done that he just kind of doesn't know what to do and gets kind of frustrated and a bit upset. Also, we wanted to see how he do in situations where he might need some help. You know, little children can't do a lot of things, so it's always important for them to learn how to, you know, get people to do the things for, that they want. So in this example, you'll see him stood by the door and Ambrose kind of deliberately doesn't help him to open it. And it's a bit of a tricky door. Uh, you'll see that he tries very persistently and this is one of his definite strengths. He's a very persistent little boy in trying to get things done. Um, but you can see again, he starts to kind of get frustrated um, with that process. But you'll see in this video, he does something very good. He does go over to Ambrose, grabs him by the hand to bring him to the door to get the help he needs. So this is a communication in some ways. Um, it's good that he went to go find Ambrose. He could have perhaps done that a little sooner. Um, but you'll also notice he doesn't use any words or language associated with this task. There are other examples when we put help uh, as a sort of target to see how we do. He may not always grab us to come and find us. Here's another video with him putting on his shoes um, and it's a very difficult task for him. And again, very persistent. He tries very, very hard over quite a long period of time to get the shoes done, but he doesn't reach out to grab Ambrose or to get, try to get him to help with that task. There are, however, some really good things that he's doing with his communication. And this next video is a really good example of that. Now, for some things, in particular biscuits and food, there are some other examples too where he might do this. He will sometimes use a word and it's a mum mum, um, more of a sound really than a word. Uh, and when he wants a biscuit, he will use that word to let us know that he wants to eat the biscuit. So this is really good that he understands that speech can be used to communicate his needs. Let's take a look at that video. So that's a really good starting point. He doesn't do this for all objects and he doesn't do this for all items. It's seemingly much more around things like food. Um, so we're going to have to work a lot on that. The other thing is the only word he ever says is mum mum. Even if you try to get him to say other words, uh, he will usually just use only that word to, to communicate, um, despite what information we give him about what the object is called. We haven't observed in the sessions um, any pointing behavior, uh, like if there's something he wanted or something he wanted to show us, he doesn't tend to use a, a point uh, in, in from what we've seen so far. And his eye contact often isn't very good. Um, he would not often look at us when he wants something. He does sometimes. You see in the video with the biscuit, he would look at us to try to get us to, you know, when he's using his communication. But it's not a super frequent behavior. Um, this is where we're at with his spontaneous language. We also wanted to look to see how much does he understand language? 
Does he understand the names of things? Can he follow instructions? Does he understand all of the, those aspects? So we've been working with him these couple of days to sort of test him out and see what he knows and what he doesn't. So one thing we did, we would provide him some very simple receptive instructions. In this video, you'll see that Winky is asking him to drink the water. Okay, and he's having a snack on the sofa and she repeats the instruction a number of times. He doesn't seem to follow it or, or comprehend it. This may be because he doesn't want to drink the water possibly, but she does offer it to him after and he readily takes it to drink it, which means that maybe he was okay to do that and maybe didn't understand. Here's another example where Ambrose is asking him to identify some simple fruits or objects as part of his play to find the apple as an example and again despite repeating those instructions very frequently uh, Chuck Chuck tends to um, do his own thing get other bits again this may be because uh, he just doesn't want to listen to Ambrose and just wants to do his own thing but we weren't able to observe in a couple of days uh, any moments where he would accurately get the things that we really wanted from a purely sort of, you know, asking him with a word, give me the apple, give me the fork, you know, he wasn't good at following these kinds of instructions just yet. You can see that in another clip here where he's doing some painting and Ambrose is trying to get him to take off his coat so that he can put on his apron. <laughs> We're also not at this point in time able to get him to reliably echo what we say. So if I say to him, say the word cat or, you know, say ball, um, he doesn't tend to follow that kind of instruction at this stage. Um, you can see in this video, Ambrose is, is trying to get him to say um, a word to copy what he says, but uh, he's not able to uh, accomplish that task at this time. So one of the challenges we have right now is that it's actually quite difficult to evaluate his language skills because it requires him to follow an instruction or to listen to what we want him to do. And as you can see from the videos, he's often you know, got something in his mind that he'd be preferring to do or do instead. So we're not quite sure exactly how his language skills are, um, but it, it, because he may not be following those instructions just basically because he doesn't want to. So we will see in the coming week or so whether there is more to there to discover. And if not, we can begin here and start to teach him all of the skills that we're going to be looked for in terms of understanding nouns and labels, using his speech to communicate across more different things and understanding verbal imitation and copying speech. So, but we're in a good place and he does have some good foundational skills for us to start with.